joined now by the technical director of the OSU Black Force, Force Black, Paul Harris, the under-17 boys, Tier 1 Ontario Cup runners-up. Uh, difficult game for you guys here today. Um, somewhat unfavorable conditions, got off to a fantastic start. wonder if you can just give us uh, your outlook on how the game played out. Yeah, I thought it was a good game. I thought it was two good teams. These two teams are the top two teams in the OYSL League. Um, so we knew coming into it, it was going to be stiff competition. Um, I thought in the uh, the first half we uh, we played quite well. There wasn't too many chances in the uh, in the game. I thought it was tight either way. They had some play through midfield, but I thought we managed to subdue that as the half went on and after going a goal behind, showed great character to come back and, and take a two one lead into half time. We kind of warned them as a coaching staff at half time that Oakville would have a, have a spell. Second half, first fifteen minutes was really important. And, They'd have to try and weather the storm. Uh, we got through about 10 or 12 minutes and then the, the goal went in and then we we seemed to lose our flow and uh, that Oakville took control and at that stage they were pressing the game and we couldn't quite recover from that and a few disappointing uh, blows on the goal uh, and, and then we kind of ran out of steam a little bit I felt and uh, our heads went down and it took us a while to get going again and then we've responded at the end but a little bit too late. It was... Um first half in itself told a lot of stories. Uh, the two goals that you had, you know, your, your squad had, uh, were some of the best goals I've seen in the tournament this year. First the, the flick on and then the, uh, the, the free kick, both uh, fantastic goals. Just talk about those two performances today. Yeah, well I think there's, there's quality in the team. Uh, the group's got some players that we've got, we've got hopes for. Um, a couple of them have been into the, the professional clubs on, on trials and we hope that they can move forward and Obviously, the plan is to try and get a lot of them into to universities and high levels of football. So we're we're not surprised by that. There is quality in the group, and they've scored a lot of goals this year. Um, doesn't help people like me as a coach because sometimes we've had five, four games, and we seem to be almost like Brazil, and we'll outscore everybody. Um, but yeah, there's the the, the two moments uh, were great quality. Thomas Jurgensen with the free kick was was terrific and he also provided the ball for Chris Oakman to score and as you said it was fantastic timing and awareness of where he was in the penalty box to to flick it over the keeper so yeah uh, the two goals were, were, were special moments and I thought we might get a few more at the end to make it really a tight finish but wasn't to be. So what are you saying or what are the coaching staff saying to their squad uh, when they level it up uh, coming into the second half 2-2 two, two, and then the game starts to look like it might get away on you. What is the coaching staff saying to the team at that point? Well, I think it's just trying to get them settled and organised again. Uh, unfortunately, I've been here for the last uh, three years and in Ottawa we sometimes struggle with that in terms of we don't get the competition that they get in the, uh, the GTA as often. Uh, even in our conference this year, um, we've actually won the Eastern Conference in OYSL, but we haven't played any teams from the West so sometimes we struggle in that big game mentality and them important moments, learning how to cope with it. But that's something that us as a club, we've got to do better. And uh, all the boys uh, and girls within our club have got to learn that them big match moments and, and how to stay calm and how to stay focused and how to, to keep doing the right things and not let it get to you. I think sometimes we, uh, we're too down on ourselves and we take goals too too harshly uh, and and struggle to recover from it at times. You mentioned the the big moment goals, the big moment games. This is a big moment tournament. It's sure. a it's a real razor's edge. Any team can fall off at any time against difficult competition. Just walk us through some of your journey through this tournament and discuss what this tournament means to your club as well. Yeah, well, the Ontario Cup is a is a massive competition. Everybody knows it throughout Ontario. It's obviously the the centerpiece of uh, of the province. Um, we, we really enjoy competing in the Ontario Cup. It gives us a chance often to play them teams that you don't get to play normally. And it gives you a barometer of where your, your team's at. Um, we love the opportunity to get to the Nationals. We always seem to have won it in years when it wasn't Nationals or just come up short in National years. And we love that chance as a club to, to win Ontario Cup and go forward and, worth, uh, and represent Ontario because we think we'd be good. We would be good representatives, and we feel like we could do well if we can. We can just get over that hurdle, but that's part of our growth. Our club's only ten years old um, since we came together, and we're getting closer and closer and closer and closer. And in these big games, we just need to do a little bit more to get over the line. And I can rest assured, with all our players back at the ranch, we're going to continue to work on that. So hopefully, next time we're talking about 
moving forward and the right results. Can we just sort of ask a little bit more about uh, what you said to your team after the game? I mean, obviously going into the half, you're leading, and then uh, the breakdown occurs. Uh, must be a number of dejected faces in that locker room. For sure. And sometimes there's nothing that I can say, even with all the experience in the world. I've been where the boys are. I said I've, I've lost in big games. I've been that player that... You know, sometimes didn't get on as much. We've had some players who've been there all the way through the cup run and didn't get as much playing time as they would have liked today and they're dejected. They're hurting, they're angry, they're frustrated. It's part of sport. We all love sport for them reasons. It's the highs, the lows, the emotion. And what I advise them is they're going to be back here in two weeks for the uh, the OYSL uh, playoffs. Oakville are likely to be there again. Can we learn from this experience today and go and put it right? Throughout their careers, they're going to move on going to move on from OSU, they're going to go into higher climbs. Use this as a learning tool to go and uh, make sure they don't have that feelings again in the future. It's been uh, the technical director of OSU Force Black, Paul Harris, uh, finalist at the Ontario Cup, U17 boys tier one level. Uh, it's an accomplishment just to get here, so congratulations for that and thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for your time, thank you for having me.